Today's video is sponsored by Magbag, but more about that later. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and in today's video, I'm gonna say some words that I didn't know I was gonna say, but I'm super glad that I can, and that is that Samsung One UI 7 is now ahead of schedule, and they are just ramping it up even more. So this right here is my Galaxy Z Fold 5. This one over here is the Galaxy Z Fold 6. This one already got Samsung One UI 7. Basically, the Flip 6, the Fold 6, and the Galaxy S24 devices was able to have Samsung One UI 7 already during the month of April, but there is several devices that was slated for May that is already getting these updates. Now those devices that were slated for May that has been getting the update just recently is the Galaxy S23 series, the Fold 5, the Flip 5, the Galaxy Tab S10 series, the Tab S9 series, and just recently the Galaxy S22 series, the S23 FE, the Flip 4, and the Fold 4. And then with this image right here with people confirming that yeah, the S25 series with One UI 7, the S24 FE with One UI 7, the Fold 6, 5, and 4, the Flip 6, 5, and 4, the Tab S9 series, uh, the S23 FE, and then if you have the A55, the May patch is with Beta 3. So there is a Samsung One UI 7 Beta that's out there on Beta 3 with the May patch on the A55. So it looks like they are gung-ho and ready to get these things out for a bunch of people. So what I'm going to do in this video is I wanted to give you that update that there's a lot of devices that is now ahead of schedule and hopefully Samsung will be able to keep that up for the rest of the devices. So all I'm going to do here is update this device and then we're going to talk a little bit about what is new. I know I've covered it you know, pretty extensively, but I'm going to share with you just a few changes that you will see on the Fold 5, the Fold 6, the Fold 4, the Flip 4, 5, and 6, your S23 series, the S24 series, and then now just recently the S22 series, also the Tab S9 and the Tab S10, along with the other devices that I mentioned. Now, it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So looking at some of the up Update information for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It ends in EYD9. The size is just under 5,000 megabytes, giving you that April 1st security patch, your Samsung One UI 7 with Android 15. Now this portion of the video is sponsored by Magback. So this is the Magback Elite case for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. You can get this for the Galaxy S25 series. You can get it for several other Samsung Galaxy models. You can get it for Google Pixel devices as well as Apple iPhones. Now not only does it come with a customizable, fully functioned case, but it also comes with a 9H hardness tempered glass. Now, inside of the box that comes with the case, you'll be able to install the tempered glass. And it's super simple. You just place your Samsung phone on the inside, you get it cleaned up, wiped off, and then once you start to close the lid, you pull that tab out, and once everything is secured and the box is fully shut, that is when you fully pull out that tab and then your tempered glass will fully adhere to your phone. You also have accented colors on the sides that you are able to customize. So if you wanna go with red or if you wanna go with light gray, if you wanna go with light blue, you can go with pink. You also have yellow and orange. Now on the bottom, you'll also have a little pinky cushion. So most of us probably hold our phones just like this and naturally with the finger loop in the back and with that pinky cushion, on the bottom, it is a comfortable hold. And it's also a grippy hold, but it is also MagSafe compatible. So if you have any MagSafe chargers or accessories, they are able to work with it. Also, if you don't have any of those, you can go for this MagBack wallet. So because it does have that MagSafe compatibility, you are also able to just wirelessly charge your device. Even if it's not MagSafe, you just place it on your wireless charger, it works. Also, if you go places and you make payments, payments work through it as well. You also have a kickstand on the very back, so you open this up. So this way you'd be able to watch something horizontally, or if you want it to be upright, you can have it vertical with you as well. Now what's also cool about this case is that there is a magnetic shielding layer that is between the phone and the back of the case, which allows you to still put this phone because there's magnets on it. You can put it on anything that's metal, like a refrigerator, a microwave. You can throw it up on a weight machine and still have no interference when it comes down to the S Pen. Now, if you're also interested in this case, I will be placing a link below the video inside the description and a pinned comment along with a discount code to save you 15% on your purchase. 
So as the Z Fold 5 updates, I'll show you a few things you'd be able to look forward to on Samsung One UI 7 when it comes down to newer features and enhancements and visuals. So I'll show it to you with the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and if I have to, I can show some stuff with the S25 Ultra. So first off, you have better home screens and easier home screens, better widgets. So let's say that we take a look at this right here. So when you create a folder, which is easy to do, you just drag and drop one application on top of the other application, and it creates this folder. Now in larger screens, screens like this with any type of fold or tablet, large folders or enlarged folders is actually pretty sweet. What you'd have to do is just simply tap on an icon and it opens up for you to use it. Now you don't have to tap on a folder and then tap on the app, which is what you would have to do in the normal original shrunken state. So if you have folders that have been created, this is what they look like. You have to tap on it and then you tap on the application. So when you press and hold on a folder that is created, you just go to enlarge and that is it. Now, if there is more applications in the folder than what you can see, you tap on those three little dots and it's going to show the rest. And don't forget, you can also change the colors of the folders. All you have to do is just enlarge it to its full state where it shows all the applications, the name, there's the plus to add in more applications. And right there, you just tap on the color. You can choose any of these ones or you can touch the rainbow and you can choose any of those colors right there to change the color of your folder. Another thing you can do on your home screen is you can just simply press and hold on your Google search bar widget, hit on settings, and this is where you can fully customize your widget look. So you can change the hue, the saturation, the transparency. You can add in shortcuts if you want to. So however you would like yours to look, you'd be able to go through and fully customize it and then you'll have a new Google search bar widget. Now you also have a bunch of other widgets that are much better in Samsung One UI 7. So as you go on through, you'd be able to take a look at everything and notice that there is much more that you can choose from. Another cool thing that you can do with a widget is that you can create a countdown widget for something that you have in your calendar. So if you go inside the calendar and you tap on whatever you have, I met some guy, he's gonna cut my hair later on in May. And so if you take a look at your event, on the bottom right hand side, you go to more, you can add a countdown widget and you just go to add. And then it's gonna be on your home screen just right there. So I can press and hold, move this over here so I know I wouldn't forget that there's a haircut or some event that's going on. So you're able to have this really fun little customized widget. Now bringing this phone back in, let me show you my customized lock screen because there's a lot more that you can do with it. So you can fully customize whatever you want your clock to look like. You can have widgets that's right there. All you do on your lock screen is you press and hold, you unlock your device, and then this is where you're able to fully customize it. Now I have a little bit more that's going on because I'm also using Lockstar. Now without Lockstar, you wouldn't have this area here or this little spot. I also customized my little lock icon on the very top, but this is where you have your clock that you're able to use, and there's a bunch that you're able to choose from. You can also have widgets right there. You can actually have four total. I have three just because this one right here is a two by one. And then I have that right there. Also on the bottom, you'll have much more options for actions and applications. Beforehand, there wasn't many actions and now there is quite a few. So you can really just fully customize your entire lock screen from the clock. You can add in some gifts. You got your widgets. You can add, you can add in more if you want to through Lockstar and there's more shortcuts and options for your little widgets or shortcuts towards the bottom. And then when you're finished with it, you just hit on done. Hey, take a look at that. We have the welcome screen for Samsung One UI 7 just right over here. And this is where you can tap on start. And there might be a little bit of details that kind of help you go through everything that is new. Now there is one thing that I want to show you and that is that there is a dedicated application that Samsung puts on your phone after updates that'll help you with all of the tips and all of the brand new features that you're able to use on your Samsung phone. It's right there. So if you tap on tips, this is where you can learn a lot about Galaxy AI. You can scroll down, you can take a look at everything that's new for the Galaxy Fold. And then here is the new page for Samsung One UI 7. You can customize your apps and widget style. You can make folders big, stay on top of important tasks with now bar. You can group your alarms, which let me show you that. There is a game that I play that I have to have a bunch of alarms and I don't want to have it set up on this full entire screen right here. So there's different days, different times for different things, but I have this little cluster of alarms set up for Whiteout Survival, which is a game I play, and another one for school. 
So instead of having everything all flooded around and having a ton, and I don't really know exactly what all these things mean, I'd be able to go right in this little cluster of these little applications or these little uh, alarms, and I'm able to put in the little name, and then I can have all of the times, and I can just simply just turn these on. So then on this time, it's going to go off at that day, and it's not going to interfere with everything else that I have right down over here that could be a little bit more important for special events. So if you're wondering how you create a group of alarms, you just go right inside of your alarm tab, Right up over here, you go to those three little dots and then you go to alarm groups. And this is where you create a brand new one. And that's what I did right up over here for a whiteout. I created a group, put in the name, and then I added in all these different events that happens within the game. So this way it doesn't mix in with all the rest of all of these down over here, which could be a little bit more important. Now, taking a look at just a few additional things, when you take a look at your camera, you'll have a different type of a setup. Now, this one over here is for the fold. And so this little option right there is how I can expand to more settings and different options for taking pictures and video. And this is where you have the full list of settings. Now on the Samsung phone over here of my Galaxy S25 Ultra, that one looks slightly different. If I go right up over here, it's gonna be this icon that is right there. So that's how I can expand it. And I got the rest of those. Now, another cool thing that you can do is if you scroll on down and you take a look at your advanced video options, there is a new feature in here that allows you to do audio playback, which means you can play music and record a video at the same time. If you remember, if you were ever connected to a Bluetooth speaker and you started recording with your camera, the music would stop, you would record the video, and then once the video was done, your music would play back. When you turn this on here, you have audio playback, so this way you'd be able to listen to music either in Bluetooth or off your phone and it records the video at the exact same time. So it's the perfect scenario. If you are connected to a Bluetooth speaker, you can still record a video. So this way in that video, if you want that music is playing in the background. And then the last two things that I want to show off is obviously you'll have your notifications and the quick settings separated. If you ever want to put them right back to normal, you hit on that little pencil edit button you go to your panel settings, and this is where you can put them together if you want. So it's the same pull down for notifications and quick settings, just like Samsung One UI 6. Or if you want them to be separate, just remember if they are separate, you can swipe left and right to go between the two of them. You can also press and hold any of these sections to move them around and reorganize them. So you can have it look however you want it to look. And then lastly, there is a cool thing that is called drawing assist, and that is right over here. This is where if you want, you can use your drawing to create something AI. You can base a brand new image off of a picture you already have, or you can just type something in. So you can type something like sharks with laser beams out of their heads, and it'll do exactly that uh, with AI imagery. So I wanted to let you guys know just a few things you're able to do with Samsung One UI 7. I've already fully covered it extensively. If you guys want to watch any of those other videos, uh, just go through my whole video list. I have an entire list of all these videos that I shoot almost every single day, going over everything that is new with Samsung One UI 7, the tips and tricks, the hidden features, literally every single thing that you ever want to know about anything Samsung. I already have it on this channel. So here we are, the brand new Samsung One UI 7 right here on the Galaxy Z 4. Fold 5. Super cool. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.